The new Roblox Arsenal Halloween update is finally out. Welcome back to our channel Shred Blocks. In today's video, we will talk about the new Roblox Arsenal Halloween update. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Halloween Update 2 was the official sequel to Arsenal's Halloween Update. It was released on October 26, 2020. This update includes Halloween-themed weapons, maps, emotes, skins, and more. It was published in two parts. Part 1 started the same day the update was released. Upon entering the main screen, you will be greeted with the option to choose a Halloween mask and unusual effect. Part 2 started November 1, 2020. It's a minor update with more new weapons and patches. Prior to the release of the update, Maps such as Canals and Spooky Town were released to public at the beginning of October 31, 2020. The event is expected to end on November 20, 2020. However, it ended early on November 11, 2020 due to exploiters getting developer exclusive skins via the contract store. The Halloween update was one of Arsenal's most massive updates. A wide variety of new items, skins, and weapons have been introduced, and new game modes have been added. Two new maps have been added and some bugs have been fixed. The ticket system also made a comeback, but now as candy, they have been collected for prizes. What's in the update? Weapons Pizza Pizza is an arsenal weapon added in the Halloween update. This weapon can be used to throw pizza at enemies or to get a temporary speed boost. The pizza does little damage per hit. However, its acceleration compensates for this, with a two-hit kill at close range. It also has a very fast reload and fire rate. By right-clicking, the player will take a slice of pizza from the box and eat it, gaining a temporary speed boost. This action consumes one ammo reading. The pizza has an 8th round or magazine pizza slice with 40 reserved. While charging, the user will throw away the pizza box and equip a new one. Mauser Carbine Based on the Passam SMG M712 Schnell Fewer, the Mauser Carbine trades in ammo for damage and arsenal. It has a magazine of 20 ammo, with 3 more magazines in reserve. In-game information The Mauser Carbine is similar to the MP9S. However, the fire rate is slightly faster, it deals more damage, and the magazine is reduced to a mere 20, 10 rounds less than the MP9S. It's also similar to the Focus, yet having a third of the damage but the same headshot damage. If players miss too much with this weapon, they will quickly find themselves in a bad spot, with reloading taking up a lot of precious time. The reload time is above average, so players can reload fast and get back into battle as quickly as they can. Micro Uzis Micro Uzi are dual machine guns which are a variation of the Uzi. The Micro Uzi was initially produced in the 1980s as a more compact version of the Uzi. Each weapon is weaker than the normal Uzi. However, since the two are combined, they can inflict greater damage but also have a greater spread penalty. The Micro Uzi are one of the few dual grip pistols in the game and the only automatic ones. It fires twice as fast as a normal Uzi, firing at 1200 RPM instead of the normal 600. There are some drawbacks when it comes to the Micro Uzi, most notably the high spread of bullets which would make it an inaccurate weapon and its low minimal damage. Maps Mighty Manor Mighty Manor is a mansion surrounded by a cemetery and farm fields. This map is full of random meme references. The villa has three floors with a kitchen, dining room, bedroom, and attic equipped with a heliport. There is also a basement in the building. Height Frights High Frights takes place in an open-ended map set in a theme park surrounded by a castle at dawn. Areas mix of long to close range combat with most encounters near the drop tower and gamer grill stalls. High Frights features one roller coaster, two flat rides, and a couple more shops and game stalls. Safe House Safe House takes place in a hilly woodland area with a craftsman-style house as the focal point. The map is inspired by the CSGO map, DE underscore Safe House, but has a different layout outside of the house. Multiple rocks, rocket terrain, and trees make it an extremely dynamic map, providing natural cover or vantage points. A cobblestone wall blocks the two sides of the map. However, there are some ways around it, with there being a shed that you can climb over to get to the other side, and two planks on the other. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more such amazing content. We will see you in our next video. Till then, take care and goodbye. Thanks for watching.